All right. Hi guys, in a new location today, back in my entryway. Um, I'm home with Little, so if a partner in crime hops in here, that is why. But I'm actually really excited to talk to you guys about shirting. This is a big trend happening for spring, so I'm gonna kinda show you three, maybe four ways of how I'm wearing it for this spring, and like literally I'm just gonna keep the same shirt on and show you three or four different options with it. So I'm literally starting with a work look because I mean, this is working from home for me, so why not wear the work look? Okay, so this is the cloth and stone little denim shirt. I am wearing a medium in it, you guys. I kind of, I love it for work being in my true to size because it doesn't look too oversized. I think for play or for date, I might go a size bigger into the large just because of like the oversizedness of it, but I'm wearing a medium. Um, I'm not wearing anything underneath but a bra. Like you could do a little lace cami underneath if you want a little bit more coverage, but I did what I thought was like the most simplest way of styling this, and it's literally, I just tucked it all the way into these level 99 little joggers solid olive um and then I threw on this fun little leopard belt just to give like the solid denim and the solid green pant a little bit of character and you guys I didn't untuck it at all like I tucked it all the way in finished up my makeup threw on my accessories and this started to kind of come undone as I started moving around throwing on my shoes these are those Dolce Vita loafers which I think are so awesome um kind of for work or if you're at home just sliding in versus a sandal and then I wanted to show you guys how I just having a snack over there. <laughs> um, how simple it was to, to style these sleeves. So I just gave it one cuff here, literally rolled it one more time, and then I let it meet at the elbow. So it's just gonna have this really nice natural yeah. cinch right there. So one, two. two, and then I did a little fun little bracelet stack with these new um, beads. So work look, one, one and done. Okay, next look on how I'm gonna style this denim shirt. All right, guys, look number two. So this is my play casual, and yes, I'm wearing a Canadian tuxedo. I know this yes, is not for everyone. she's wearing jeans, all blue. All blue, all blue. Yep, so I mean, it's super easy because it's like granules. Blue on blue, done, make it super easy. But I know this is not for everyone. I love it, I think it's super easy. It's like when you're in a rut of what to wear, I just love a denim shirt with a denim jean. So, okay. I'm gonna start with still wearing the cloth and stone denim shirt. I'll kind of walk you through the styling on this. But then I just paired it with an A. Goldie Riley. Um, this is in Whiplash because it feels so good, just like a sweatpants. So if you're like, I, I'm i wearing shirt size. Painted my nails. You painted your nails? I do. Oh, I need to paint my nails. Um, so what I love about the A. Goldie Riley is I'm wearing a 29, my true size. So it feels like a sweatpant. It's nice and high, but just like doesn't look, obviously doesn't look like a sweatpant, sweat, pair of sweatpants because they are a jean, but, and then just throw in a pair of sneakers. So it just feels like a little bit more elevated than wearing a jogger, but you still could do the same look with a jogger. This is the Ronan Ryan gray sweatpant. I'd still style it the same, which maybe I might throw it on just to show you guys what it would look like with a sweatpant. But from a styling perspective, what I did is I just left my outfit super simple, wore the new initial necklace. Um, this is the A, it's got that really fun little detail in it on, um, ABC? So just, yeah, the ABC's necklace. So I just left this guy on. Again, leaving the neckline super versatile. I unbuttoned, unrolled them. And what I did, what you could do is just do one little cuff to show off these little, okay, can we talk about these new bracelets? So yes. cute. Be good, do good. We can't talk about these. And then um, this is the styling hack I did for this. So leave the back completely untucked. Okay, all undone. I am buttoned this twice just because these jeans are a loops and are a little bit higher. If they were a little bit more of a mid-rise, I probably would button one. So if you see how there's the placket on top, you want to leave that on top so you don't get any of those bumps. If you ever try to half tuck sometimes, it gets that really big like bumpiness in the shirt. So the, the one that has the button, so the underneath portion of the shirting, I'm just tucking that all the way in letting this kind of hang, and it just kind of gives you the vibe of a half tuck, still lengthens the leg, but you don't have to commit to the full tuck, which sometimes can feel really fussy, and then I just gave myself just like a little cuff, and you're set to go. Do you want to show the people who you are over here? Come over here, ma'am. Okay. How fabulous does this girl look? She's ready to talk about her look. She's wearing the book cup glasses, high heels, cute necklace, and then <laughs> this is your Christmas look, right? Yes. She's set for 2021 Christmas. Um... It's okay. not Christmas. No, it's not. Just was Valentine's Day. Okay, that was look number two. I'm gonna pop on those joggers though really quick, you guys, to show yes. what this casual look would look like with joggers. Okay, you guys, last and final look, date night. Okay, so I've been wanting to try this for a super long time, and so I'm like, I'm gonna do it with you guys. And if this feels really complicated, 
then I got another way to show you how to rock a shirting for date night as well. Okay, so I am wearing just like a little um, Allison Joy, whoops, um, lace cami underneath this. So it kind of makes it like foolproof. You're not showing your whole life under a denim shirt. But I just love how you created like this little twist tie situation. Um, easy for date night. Took all my accessories off except for a great little hoop earring. I mean, if you're just like, want to be super extra sexy and you're wearing a bra then go for it but I'm like my life is not ready for that so then I just left my sleeve undone so just a little bit balances out the deeper um v-neck in it paired it with these good American these are the good plastic look at that little destruction here these feel amazing I'm wearing an eight you guys they are tight they are high I feel sucked in it feels sexy, you know, date night. Here we go. Okay, let's talk about how I styled the shirt. Oh, and then I put on these little Paley sandals by Dolce Vita. How sexy are these shoes? I just think they make the leg look really, really long. Um, okay, let me talk. Okay, no more. But how do you do these? Um, let me talk about how I styled this. So this looks much more complicated than it actually was. But all I did is gave it one little tie or button right underneath. So I kind of gave it a little bit deeper V. So this is kind of like right under the chest. I gave that a really good little button. What I did is I took the shirt in the back, kind of got it all scrunched as if you almost it's were gonna scrunched. knot it, which you guys totally could knot it. it. Creates a really long leg. So if this feels too complicated, look, tie a little, you know, button that right there and then you could tie it easy peasy knot. But what I did is now that I have my two ends, left my tank tucked all the way in, I'm taking one end, Tucking that little, you know, knot right there. Taking this other side, crisscrossing it, and then tucking that in there too. And you got this cute little like crisscross action for the shirting, but still like feeling really covered. So I don't know, it's kind of fun. I actually think this would be really cute if I had one size bigger so it could blouse a little bit more. Um, but I don't know, it just adds a little bit of funk fun. And again, if that feels extremely fussy and you're like, okay, I'm feeling really self-conscious and you know what, this is my first date night out in a year and you're just like, I don't wanna have to fuss over this, an easy peasy knot, you guys, is a really fun kind of playful way to do shirting for girls night or date night too. And again, that cami just adds a little bit of sexiness, but a little bit more coverage. So three ways to do shirting. Um, this guy by Cloth and Stone also comes in a white and we have something really fun up our sleeves that will kind of show you how to in the next week or two. But this is the denim. I think it's a worse workhorse in your wardrobe. It's going to be adorable with white for spring. going to be adorable with shorts. I don't know. This is something that you will never throw out of your closet. So invest, invest ladies. Okay. Thank you for bear with thing. Bear with thing. See, I'm even a lot of words when I'm working from home with the teeny tiny little people. But um, bear with me for um, this, this, all the words coming out of my mouth. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.